Hi, I'm Mick White, and this is no ordinary 1989 Ford F-250 four-wheel drive five-speed. This incorporates a hybrid electric drive, which is both minimalist and modular. Now let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now what I meant by modular is that the type of system found on this vehicle could be reinstalled on any other type of four-wheel drive off-road vehicle or vehicles with a towing capacity and maintain full capability. What I meant by minimalist is the battery system is totally auxiliary to this particular vehicle. It's not integrated into the chassis, which means that for a sports car or muscle car at a sporty driving event, you could remove the battery system, leave it in the pit lane with your toolbox and your spare tire, enjoy the driving, and then when you're ready to uh, realize the benefits of good fuel economy again, reinstall the battery system and make your way home. Now let's see how that works. So the objective of this hybrid design was to keep the battery pack and the electric motor as small as possible for a heavy duty vehicle, which means that the electric motor is now only fighting wind and road resistance as a type of electric overdrive or electric cruise control. So accelerating from a low speed, we're in first gear right now, we'll accelerate using the gas motor. Shift using the five-speed manual. And then when we're ready to engage the hybrid electric drive, we shift the transmission into neutral. And we can even turn the truck off. So the gas motor is currently doing nothing at all. We are being propelled by hybrid electric power, going uphill even slightly. But we're at a near highway speed, being powered by electricity. Now the reason I wanted something like this to exist is that I do want to save money on fuel, but I don't really want a continuously variable transmission from a standing start in all situations. It's entertaining to me to accelerate using the engine and the transmission, but then once you get up to highway speeds, I could really do it without the drone. So the electric drive actually eliminates all of that since there is no drone. All we can hear is a little bit of tire noise, barely any wind noise. Um, and so it's kind of the best of all worlds. I get to use the gas for the fun stuff and electricity for the boring stuff. And the reason I chose a manual transmission V8 4x4 full-size pickup truck is that it serves as an analog for several other types of vehicles because as the five-speed manual it could serve as an analog for a muscle car or a sports car because it has the four-wheel drive and oversized tires it could serve as an analog for some type of Jeep or off-road vehicle and because it's a full-size pickup truck it could serve totally as an analog for something that has a high tow capacity and could move a lot of freight So here we have our electric motor assembly, which is mounted between the transfer case and the rear differential. And it has an input shaft of greater than one inch and an output shaft of greater than one inch. So basically what we have here is a drive shaft with a coil around a part of it, which connects the internal combustion engine all the way through to the rear differential. But on a highway, I engage the electric cruise control and this portion, the electric motor, takes over. Interestingly, I only find myself using the gas motor about 25% of the time in a non-urban environment. Now that gives credence to the notion that 30 to 40 miles per gallon on a vehicle such as this is well within the realm of possibility 
with this type of setup. It's one of the aspects of this proof of concept vehicle, which I would deem successful, has been the range. With its low-tech battery system, this vehicle has a plug-in electric-only highway range similar to a Toyota Prius plug-in or a Ford Fusion Hybrid. The only caveat being, because it's a, such a heavy, unaerodynamic vehicle, I accelerate using the internal combustion engine and manual transmission, which have been optimized for that purpose. Okay, so it doesn't have a zero fuel range like some other plug-in hybrid vehicles. However, for such a large vehicle, getting in the range of 40 miles per gallon and having that be a real possibility is a real cost savings. If I were to use this vehicle as it sits on a weekly basis, I would be spending about $4.25 a week on gas. And this is using a low-tech, minimalist style battery pack system, which is far cheaper than the $75,000 converted trucks that are currently on the market. And I really think this type of design has a lot of potential.